Hello Ratbags, it's Joe Plays Games with a 7 Days to Die update. I told you guys I would let you know the minute it drops and it's dropping now. I've done a video a few days ago now and it's taken a while to go to through certification but it is ready. Go and check your Xbox, go and check your PS4, make sure the update's ready to go, check for an update, it's here. Loads of stuff to go through, I've gone to go through every single patch note. Um, the patch notes aren't exhaustive, it isn't really as much as I think most people thought. It's pretty much what I told you guys in the last video. There is no electricity, there's no NPC trading. So if you're looking for that kind of stuff, you might be a little bit disappointed. But is it enough? That was the question I asked. Would it be enough to have some of this stuff and some of the bug fixes come through and some of the features from Alpha 16 may be added to it as well? Is that going to be enough to get you to carry on playing the game and have faith that they are going to keep updating the console version? So we're going to discover that together. I'm going to go through the patch notes like I said and then I will be looking at the game at some of the new stuff they've added in separate videos just showing you guys what I think about some of the updates they've added. So let's get into it. So, 7 Days to Die is actually live. It's going to be live in the minute I've put this video out, guys. So go and check your Xbox update, go and check your PS4. It should be hitting both consoles at the same time. 8pm Greenwich Mean Time, 7pm UTC Time and 12pm PST. So the update is broken into two things. Some of the stuff can only be applied if you start a brand new game and some of the stuff will work no matter what you do. So the stuff that works no matter what you do is brand new sky and weather effects. Now these are on par with the brand new stuff that's come into PC. So you can see there the daylight's looking pretty swish. And you've got the daytime as well, it's looking quite nice, the clouds are quite nice I must say. And then you've got nighttime, a nice nighttime moon. Item combination and repair. The workbench UI has been updated to allow players to combine items in order to make items of better quality. So that's really cool. It means you can really upgrade your items and weapons instead of always leaving one half done or half repaired. And just like I mentioned there, you can actually use really crappy half repaired items to actually repair better items. And you can now take down workbenches using a wrench. And something else, zombies, when you attack them, they will now turn into gore blocks a lot quicker. And if you do enough damage, they'll instantly turn into gore blocks. So you won't have to worry too much whether or not they're dead. You can clearly tell they're actually dead, dead, dead. Now, the stuff that you need to start a brand new world save is the 50 brand new items that have been added to patch 10. So they've got new plants and harvestables, various new types of scrap, a whole new clothing line. So that looks okay. It looks a bit Mad Max-ish, I think, with the trousers there. Don't know what that is. What is that meant to be? Is it a mask? What is it? And I'm guessing these are the brand new items. Although you correct me if I'm wrong if they if they don't look that new. You've got like a gas mask type thing there. That looks pretty cool. That is starting to make me think, yeah, the game's looking badass. It's like a Fallout 4 Mad Max version. So there's a hundred new blocks, like I've told you guys before. There's several that will help flesh out existing block sets with new pieces, corners and arrow slits. So you really can build your own castle. You've got toggable lights, draw bridges as well. That's fairly recent, I do believe. And a new crafting station, which I do believe is the chem bench. So you only have access to that stuff if you start a new game. That's really cool about the drawbridge. It's really going to open up different possibilities. Instead of always building like massive trenches, you could actually do something like that over a river and delay or stop them a bit more. And we can finally make a prison. Yay! One of my big ideas I wanted my mate Crazy Man and him to do when I visited his world tours, go and check him out. He's one of the best builders I've seen in Seven Days to Die, was maybe to put me as a prisoner and I would escape and then he would have to hunt me down. I always wanted to do that idea. Maybe that's something we can work on together. Maybe if anyone's out there and they can build something like a base or prison, maybe you can give me a few basic tools so that I can escape and then you've got to hunt me down and see how long it takes. Got loads of brand new blocks here. We've seen some of them. Got the rounded cement blocks. That's pretty cool. And these lights are pretty cool too. Stainless steel blocks. When the world is falling apart, most things are just little rough around the edges. It's nice to have such satisfying smooth blocks to build with. Oh yeah, I'm going to get my modern kitchen on the go. They can now build catwalks and tree houses. That looks epic. That looks really cool. It adds such a different variety just adding something like that instead of building these great big 10 wall thick bases or underground. Having something like that would be crazy. I wonder if the zombies can do damage to the trees though. Imagine that if they just started damaging it and it just fell off. But it does look epic. These pictures are really good. Really good, well done for the patch notes for once. They've really gone to town and included stuff as a proper preview. It's a shame they've not done a trailer for it, though. It would have been really nice if they'd done something like that. You can see more you can do with the, the tree stuff or make bridges out of it. 
Farming has been improved, patch 10. The concept of fertilised land has been added along with four new sea types, the yucca, the mushrooms, the chrysanthemum and aloe. Again, you've got to start a new game to access these. 60 brand new recipes to the game. Again, they're new ones to add to the block shapes and farming features being added. But some of them will mean you can actually craft stuff that's already in the game. And that new crafting station is the chemistry bench. It's basically like a souped up better version of the actual uh, campfire. And skill update and balancing. Most of the changes done to the skills have been balancing one. A lot of the changes were changing the level needed for the next level requirements. Changing the cost of some skills and the amount of experience needed to level those skills up. Two new skills were added, chemistry station and breaking and entering. And two were removed, 10mm round, crafting and leather tanning. These new features will be available to players that start new games in patch 10. Lots of bugs and problems fixed here apparently guys. To do with smelting guns. Yakka fruit, not giving you enough fruit when you shot one. I'm not going to go through all these, there's just quite a few. I will leave a link below, you can go and check it out for yourself. So there we go guys, it would, you know, is that enough? Is that enough? That was the question we asked and it's got a massive response. Loads of views and loads of you commented and said, you know, it might be too late. But a lot of you were really excited and I know lots of my friends and my, my subs are really looking forward to seeing it again. So I'm going to do a little small mini let's play. We'll take a little look. I mean obviously it might take a while to get to this stage. So I might do one episode where I just highlight and show some of the build stuff that you can make with the new stuff. And then I may start a proper let's play with my son. So definitely let me know guys, hit me up if you want to do something or you've got an idea for me that I can come and do. Maybe it's a base tour like I'm doing here with Crazy Man, like I said, he's one of the best builders. Um, can you do better than he done? I mean, go and check out the playlist, you'll see some of the base tours we've done together. Fantastic stuff. I would love to do some more base tours. I have got it on Xbox and the PS4 guys, so hit me up if you're going to build something. It'd be nice to see some of the new stuff added as well, you know, in the base tours. But it doesn't have to be. If you've had a base just sitting there for ages and you think it's it's fantastic hit me up and we'll start doing some base tours again i really like doing the base tours on this but i just didn't get enough um interest in it because i had quite a low amount of subs at the time so i'm really hoping you guys are going to show me what's the plan and i really like the idea thinking about it while i was doing this video the prison idea maybe you can build me a compound maybe you can build me a way that i can slowly make my way out of it and then you can hunt me down or we can come up with something maybe it can be like an escape room something like that some sort of little story element to it you build it i will come give me an outline of what you propose and i would love to come check something out i don't want to just do bog standard let's plays with subs i want to come up with something unique something fresh something you know that's ours that we can create together which is a bit different from just the standard let's play so let me know if you've got any ideas maybe we'll come up with something together or i can use your ideas at least when i do my videos so yeah Seven Days to Die, it's here. Go and download it right now, guys. I hope you enjoy it and let me know what you think about the update.